Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... Game Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Aimee Sue Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Titignan natin ngayon kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Nandito na tayo sa weekly finals. Kilalanin natin ngayon ang ating apat na daily winners. One of them will move to a spot in our semifinals kung pumasa siya sa ating K-Check sa araw na ito. Nard is a third-year mathematics education student at UP Diliman currently serving as college representative to the University Student Council and is a multilingual. Denise is a graduate of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines and is a certified public accountant who loves to watch basketball and sitcoms. Gabby is a second-year BS Geology student at UP Diliman. He has 4,000 hours spent on playing Dota 2. And Essel is a graduate of Quezon City Science High School and an incoming freshman of UP Diliman. He and his family loves to take care of cats. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Wendell Capili of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman, and Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Welcome everyone, I'm you. Weekly Finals, mataas ang expectation ko sa tagisa ng talino sa araw na ito. Ako din, we have the best right here. Tama naman yan. No? So contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. And this is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Let's begin. Nard, what is covered by the Earth's shadow in a lunar eclipse? Apogee. Male, the moon. Denise, in what province can you find Colon Street and Magellan's Cross? Cebu. Cebu? K-check. Gabby, in what sport can you score a turkey by rolling three straight strikes? Bowling. Bowling? K-check. Essel, what does the S in the government agency FIVOX stand for? Seismology. Seismology? K-check. Nard, in what sport is there a stroke known as butterfly? Swimming. Swimming? K-check. Denise, what does the G in the government agency Pag-asa stand for? Geophysical. Geophysical. K-check. Gabby, in what continent can you find Israel? Europe. Europe, Malay. Asia. In what sport, Essel, can you throw an uppercut or a left hook? Boxing. Boxing. K-check. Nard, hepatitis is the inflammation of what body part? Male, liver. Denise, in what sport can you send a shuttlecock to speeds of over 200 kilohertz per hour? Badminton. Badminton, correct. K-check. Gabby, what does the moon cover in a solar eclipse? The sun. The sun, K-check. Essel, which Roman god of love is often depicted as a winged child with a bow? Athena. Cupid. That's it for round one. Napaka-exciting ng round one. Uh, mga kadyan, no? Parang lahat talaga gusto kong lumaban. Ang dami nilang nasagot. No? Mm -hmm. Professor Ricky, curious ka daw kay Nard. Anong tanong mo sa kanya? Uh, curious ako kay Nard kasi math ed siya. Ang daming takot sa math. So, ed ka pa. So, paano mo ituturo sa mga takot sa math ang math? So, of course, no, yung pag integrate ng mga math concepts into real-life concepts, yun yung isa sa mga ways para mas maintindihan ng mga students yung mga math concepts na kailangan nilang malaman. So, halimbawa, um, yung integration, saan ba nilang nagagamit yung integration sa med, sa engineering, para mas ma-appreciate pa po nila yung concept. 
Tama naman yun, no? Oo, diba? ang, parang may natutunan ako kayo na. Correct, di ba? No. Kasi lahat naman may mask talaga. Totoo. Mm-hmm. It's how the universe speaks. Let us now do our recap of the performance of our contestants. Denise is leading with 30 points. She's followed by Gabby and Essel at 20 points. And third is Nard at 10 points. Nard, habol ka! Kayo, ilang tanong ang nasagot nyo? 12. Kasi perfect tayo sa mascom. Ako din. 12 din ako. Of course, <laughs> di ba? At ready na ba kayong lahat for the Pabilisan round? Next here on... Key check! Welcome back sa ating Karunungan Check Weekly Finals. Para sa ating recap, nauna si Denise na may 30 points, sunod si Gabby and si Essel na may 20 points each, at si Nard na may 10 points. Habol tayo, Nard. Okay? Ikaw, Denise, no? dahil nauna na ka naman, sabi sa kanina ay ikaw ay mahilig sa basketball. Tama ba ako? Okay? Ano meron sa basketball na kinakahiligan mo? Naging bonding po kasi namin yun ng tatay ko. So, simula bata pa lang ako, nanonood na ako ng basketball, local or international. So, hanggang ngayon. Okay. Sino ang paborito yung dalawa ng tatay mo? Yung same na player? Minsan nag-aaway na po kami sa, <laughs> sa team namin. So, ako ang paborito ko is si Jamorant, Memphis Grizzly. So, yung tatay ko iba. <laughs> Ikaw naman, Gabi Mahilig ka raw sa Dota. No? Dota 2. Anong pinagkaiba ng Dota 1 sa Dota 2? Mas maganda po yung graphics ng Dota 2. Mm-hmm. Mas mahirap ba ang ano, Dota 2? Hindi <laughs> naman po. Okay. So, dahil 4,000 hours ka nang naglalaro niyan, ilang hours pa gustong ilaro ulit niyan sa mga susunod na araw? Ibala ko po siya i-double sa buong college life ko. Oh, <laughs> ano ka, kayang klaseng CPU meron yung batang yan? May cluster yata yan? Correct. Oo. Napaka-init ng round 1. Professor Neil, anong assessment mo? Well, sobrang init ang round 1. Nagpakitang gilas yung apat na contestants. Of course, uh, leading ngayon si Denise, pero I think kayang habulin yan kasi mga daily winners itong tatlong ito. Pero si Nards, malaking hamon yan, kaya pang humabol. Meron pang rounds 2 and 3. I couldn't agree more. Tama si Professor Neil. Now we're going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the questions. Correct answers are worth 20 points, pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Contestants, strategy is key. Let's begin! Let's begin with round two. The first question, what is the more popular name of Stefani, Joanne, Angelina, Nard? Lady Gaga. K-check! Next question. What present-day country was once known as Persia? Nard. Syria. Mali. Esel. Iran. Okay, check. Given the surname of the mayor of the Ukrainian capital of Kiev, who was a former world heavyweight boxing champion. The answer is... Klitschko with first name Vitali. Next question. What 25 kilometer river runs from Laguna Dibai to Manila Bay over more than 20 bridges, including K- Nard? Pasig River. Okay, check. Next question. How many times in a month does a bi weekly publication come out? Gabby. Eight. Male. Nard. Twice. Okay, check. Which South American mammal that can grow to 4 feet in length and weigh 140 pounds is the largest living rodent in the world? Gabby. Capybara. Okay, check. In what province was a former president Rodrigo Duterte born? Um, Nard. Davo, Davo del Norte. In what province was former President Rodrigo Duterte born in 1945? The correct answer is Southern Leyte. 
one of the top hit songs in the year-end global 200 music charts was the single How You Like That that was recorded by which girl <laughs> Nard Blackpink Okay, check What twin buildings in Kuala Lumpur Nard mm, twin that uh Gabi Petronas Towers Okay, check the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia is a Roman Catholic church that is still under construction. It can be found in which European city? <laughs> Denise. Spain. City. Gabby. Barcelona, Spain. Okay, check. Next question. In a current event, which author of the Satanic Verses was hospitalized after a stabbing at a speech in New York? Correct answer is Salman Rushdie. The last question for round two. Which female Dutch dancer was a famous German spy during World War I? The correct answer is Matahari. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan round. Napaka-exciting ng round na yun, don't Oo, you think? Oo, challenging, di ba? Challenging, kasi ang dami-dami mo kailangan dapat malaman. No? SL, ano yung strategy mo para ikaw ang manalo ngayong araw na ito? Uh, make sure ko lang na alam ko yung sagot bago ako bababa kasi baka mabawas na rin ako. Mm, tama naman yun. Kailangan talaga certain ka doon sa sagot mo. Prof. Wendell, tama ba ang strategy na yun, SL? Oh, sa pag ko tama, what's incredible is we have to remember that in this particular group, SL is the youngest. For somebody with that determination and maturity, not to be intimidated by the more experienced opponent, it's something that you have to commend. Mm -hmm. Very well said, Sir Wendell. No? Ngayon, let's do a points recap. Nauna si Gabby with 70 points, sumusunod si Nard with 60 points, si SL with 40 points, and then si Denise with 20 points, no? Again, uh, kailangan nilang humabol ni Denise at saka ni Ethel. Paano kaya mag end ang laban ng ito? Masasagot yan sa ating ultimate pagalingan round up next here on KJAC! Leading the competition is Gabby with 70 points, followed by Nard at 60 points. This is a close call. And then we have Essel at 40 points and Denise at 24 points, which is fourth. Sino kaya sa apat ang mananalo? We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Weekly Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Let's begin the round. Professor Wendell, question number one, please. Okay, the question is, known for works like El Tres de Mayo, and the clothed Maha. Who is the most important Spanish artist of the late 18th and early 19th centuries? Kahit family name will do. Ethel. Pablo Picasso. Uh, Malay. The correct answer is uh, Goya or Francisco Goya. Prof. Ricky, question please. Which metal element is the primary component of bauxite ore? The correct answer is aluminum. Prof. Neil. Which term for the morbid fear of foreigners can also mean dislike? of or prejudice against people from other countries? Uh, 
ang tamang sagot ay xenophobia. Prof. Wendel, question? The question is, which Norwegian has won more Olympic and world titles than any other female figure skater? The correct answer is Sonia Henny. Prof. Ricky. Next question for math. What do you call an expression obtained by finite number of the fundamental operations of algebra upon symbols representing numbers? The correct answer is algebraic expression. Prof. Neil? Limasawa, the site of the first Christian mass in the Philippines, is part of what present-day province? Nard. Leite. Mali. Dito rin ipinanganak si dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Ang tamang sagot ay Southern Leyte. Prof. Wendell. The question is, which musical artist became the first rapper to win the Pulitzer Prize, the most prestigious literary prize in America? The correct answer is Kendrick Lamar. Prof. Ricky? What do you call the altitude of 100 kilometer above sea level that marks the beginning of space where human travelers are considered astronauts. The correct answer is Carmen Lai. Prof. Neil. What is the Philippine island province that has more volcanoes than towns? Ang probinsyang ito ay may pitong bulkan at meron lang siyang limang bayan. Ito rin ang site ng annual na Lanzones Festival. Ang tamang sagot ay Kamiyin. Prof. Wendell, please. The question is, which Russian novelist authored War and Peace and Anna Kanilina, two of the finest novels ever written? The correct answer is Leo Tolstoy. Prof. Ricky? What is the stage in meiosis where homologous chromosomes separate and move towards opposite poles? Nard! Anaphase 2. Malay. The correct answer is Anaphase 1. Prof. Neil? Huling tanong, belief on monotheism fusing the tenets and traditions of Hinduism and Islam is observed by which religion? Ang tamang sagot ay Sikhism. Thank you so much, Prof. Neil. That's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. That's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Gabby, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 70 points. We'll see Gabby again in the semi-final. Thanks to Nard, Denise, and Essel for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendell, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Junella Bohr. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check! K -Check.